Who are you? I'm you ten minutes from now. Damn it, you are handsome. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. <laughs> We are sexy. We are sexy bitches, yeah. <laughs> Today we received some big news regarding the Amazing Digital Circus and its future episodes. So firstly, the other day Gooseworks said that all of the episodes have been written, everything's already planned out and they're not going to change it. This is great because it means she won't give in to fan theories and jeopardise her vision of the story. Today a fan asked how many seasons and episodes there would be. Goose responded by saying, the plan is 8 episodes total, 1 season. So from this news we know that there will be 8 episodes, 1 season and it's written already. Personally I think 8 episodes is a little short, especially compared to other indie projects. We'd have to wait and see how things pan out however. Wanita duluan. Tunggu, ngapain aku bilang gitu? Did you notice this in The Amazing Digital Circus? In the newest pilot from Glitch Productions, a couple of the cast members are voiced by actors you may recognize. The voice actor of Pomni is Lizzie Freeman, who voiced Ina in the YouTube series by Joel G. The voice actor of Jax is Michael Kovac, who voiced Angel Dust in the Hasbun Hotel pilot, Rocky in Lackadaisy, and Anne in Murder Drones. Zubal is voiced by Ashley Nichols, the creator of indie series Farfetched. And last but not least, the main creator behind The Digital Circus is Gooseworks, who composed the 
the soundtrack for the Hasbin Hotel pilot. Did you recognize these voice actors when you watched the show? Let me know in the comment section down below. Notice this in the amazing digital circus? During the pilot, we see a scene where the glowing queen spits out Zubel and Kinger asked her if she witnessed a game show. Oh, thank God you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? This was a reference to Little Runmo, which is another animation made by the Digital Circus's creator, Gooseworks. During that animation, Runmo is eaten by a blue monster in the underground, and a game show called The Wheel of Fundus plays out in the monster's belly. A similar game show also occurs in another animation from Gooseworks called Elaine the Bounty Hunter. The Amazing Digital Circus has a lot of inspirations, and chief among them was a 2001 children's show anime called Poppy the Performer, created by Ryuji Masuda with art direction by Wakasan. The show follows two main characters, the eponymous Poppy, a psychotic clown man who always wants to be the center of attention, and Ketamomo, a perpetually anxious purple wolf with a seemingly infinite number of no masks to convey his horrified emotions. Ketamomo directly inspired Gengel's design, by the way. It should be noted that Masuda had no idea the show was meant for children. This explains why the show is utterly deranged. It's violent, mean-spirited, and just downright weird. In fact, the 11 episode Swallower was banned from television for being too extreme. Even so, you can't help but appreciate the show's creativity. Given the fact that they were probably paid 500 yen and a stick of gum, it's honestly impressive that they got three whole seasons. Inside Job they didn't even get a third season. If you want to kill a few hours and brain cells, the entire show is watchable on YouTube right now. Oh, and I also wanted to inform you that Poppy the Performer has a spin-off manga where they're all cute boys now, created by Wakasan herself. It's all in her Twitter, and the art is actually quite charming. You're welcome. Oh, oh. oh my god! Kuropika, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? It can't be that bad, let me just... Why are you like this? Okay? Ow! You parasite! Pomni. Kane. Ragatha. Bubble. Kinger. Gangle Jubal Jax Gloin Queen Kofmo Why is Jax a rabbit? If you don't know, this is Digital Circus, it's an indie series that's gonna drop October 13th. And we're discussing this guy. Now at first when I heard his name, Jax, I thought of a simple jackrabbit, because he's a large rabbit. But these are jackalopes. 
They're an American cryptid, and they're based off a of rabbit. These are large, mysterious, not-so-friendly little guys. So as the most immoral character, as said by Gooseworks, Jax totally fits that archetype. He's not a kind, fuzzy, innocent bunny. He's a jackalope, and he's mean as shit. Now before I go, I want to thank this person, this person, man, I love this art style, this lovely person, and many others who I'll mention in later videos, who have sent me their art, writing, etc. It's just wonderful to see. Remember, I take requests. Much love. My name is Cat! No! That is my name! Sai! My name is Pinky Kitty Sparkle the Third! Stop laughing! Oh, thank God you're okay! You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I. What are you talking about? Stay right here, where I can keep my hundreds of all-seeing eyes on you! Sweetie, I'm back in the fucking building again!